This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. And welcome back. A local church is getting into the holiday spirit and helping those in need with their annual food pantry. New this morning with over 250 mouths being fed in this event. KTVO's Raven Brown tells us more on why sharing food in the community is so important. Thanks, Al. We're joined by Charles Porter, the coordinator of the Mobile Missouri Food Bank um, on Hamilton Street Baptist Church. How are you? I'm good this morning. How are you? Great. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the food pantry that will be coming up? Um, we have a food bank coming up on December 10th. We uh, typically serve about 250 families in the community that are in need of food. Um, we don't have any uh, monetary requirements or just need to bring a proof of ID or social security card and come in and pick up food. We typically hand out numbers starting at about 9 a.m. Okay. Great, and then so people just come up and anyone can grab food if they want? Yes. Awesome, and then where will people go if they don't know? Hamilton Street? Yeah, it'll be at the Hamilton Street Baptist Church. We, uh, there'll be quite a few people out there by nine o'clock, so people will know where to go. We've got some people that hand out numbers every month for us. Um, we have uh, handicap access. It's just, a good time. We got a lot of volunteers that come in. We bring in two semi loads worth of food and we uh, put it all in there and just hand out and divide it all up for what we've got for people coming in. Wow, and then what time does it end so people can know? Um, typically we end by about 1 a.m. or 1 p.m. Sorry. Yeah, by 1 p.m. Great, and then so how long has this been going on? Like is this the second year, third year? Um, I've been with it now for three years. I'm not sure when the church actually started handing it out. Okay, and then um, why is this so important to the church? It's a lot of people in the community and the surrounding areas need the food, especially this time of year when funds are tight and people are looking to save money for Christmas for kids and things like that. Um, other than that, I mean, there's just a big need for it in the community. There's just a large need. Great, and then can you tell me a little bit about the Christmas giveaway that also will be coming up? Um, the Christmas giveaway is this Saturday. It starts at 9 a.m. I'll be there. Um, there's a lot of other volunteers that are bringing in supplies, um, new, slightly used items, things like that. Uh, last year we had one bag just go through and fill the bag up, and that's what you uh, picked up. We had a lot of toys last year, some clothing items, some uh, household goods. So with the Christmas giveaway, um, people are just dropping off toys and items that they don't want or need anymore, and then this will be distributed out to other people? Yes, that's the way it works. We bring in uh, a lot of church members, a lot of community people bring in stuff, and then we store it for a short time period before the giveaway. Great. Thank you so much for all this information. Not a problem. Thank you. And then all of this information you can find on our website at ktvo.com. Reporting live in Kirksville, Raven Brown, KTVO News. Stay with us. We'll be right back. 